Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to do side-by-side -side comparison um, on a Juki DDL-9000 FMS full function direct drive automatic single needle machine and DDL-8700-7 um, Juki um, also, fully automated, uh, single needle machine, not direct drive. And um, I'm gonna, I get a lot of phone calls and people wanna make their decision which way they should go. Obviously, there is another one of this machine that called SMS, S as a standard. I'm not doing that one today. I thought if I'm gonna do a comparison, I'm gonna do it between this. FMS, the full function, and an 8700. Before we start, I just need to tell, let you know that 8700 series been in the market for many, many, many years. Obviously, they started with 8100, 8300, 8500. Now it's at 8700. And dash seven, it, whenever you have the dash seven, whatever number you have dash seven, that means automated automatic, okay? A DDL 9000 is a new uh, series of machine made by Juki. Juki Smart Solution, that's what it is. Juki Smart Solution, their direct drive. Direct drive again means that the, the motor is right here. Um, and the other one, I don't know, should I go side by side, do one by one, or I'm gonna do comparison between. So. On the FMS 9000, the motor is right here. You don't have any external motor. You don't have no belt, no V-belt, no drive belt. On the left-hand side, on the Juki, you still have the motor underneath. You have a motor. And you have the belt, and it's driven belt. So that's that. On the 9000, you have the control panel built inside in here, okay? And there is only one control panel that comes in, whatever it is here. And then 87-7 is not built in, and you have, we have for this customer that is going out, we have a CP-18, you could also have a CP-180 that makes this to a full function. This is a standard control panel, but then you could also have a CP-180 that makes this machine full function. Now, I don't think anybody needs that CP-180. It's too complicated that we get out of 20, 25 sewing machines that we sell, we have one person that was CP-180. So, the table sizes are gonna be exact same size. The same, same exact table size. If you see the t leg we have both of them on a T-leg, but we have this one on a super heavy duty. Because we think this machine is much more heavier than the other one. Because it's all in one, and this one is going to ship to, on a pallet and going to a customer. We felt more comfortable putting it on a super heavy duty one. The other one, we have a regular T-leg. Uh, on this machine, you cannot have a knee lifter. Even though this is the auto food lifter machine, although you could use the back, oh, even not the back. You don't have the back. You could only operate this with the foot. I'm gonna turn the machine, and this is a good start to do this. When you start the machine, when you receive the machine, you see DDL-9000C here, but this is really nice. When this icon comes, press and everything starts. That's what you have. The only way to raise the foot is by your feet. You see? Right here. There is no other, some people say, you know, still I need sometimes to do a knee lift. It won't work on this machine. This machine is only foot lift by. Now, when we go to this one, we turn on, you have this command right here. 
you could look food lift here you could food could hand lift here by your hand and you could knee lift here right now on this machine you have a oil pa oil uh, reservoir oil pan you have the head you have the oil pan you pour everything in here when you receive it okay on that machine right there they call this a dry head what it means by dry head you don't have not, nothing goes in here this is dry it's just the oil tray if there is a drop which is not the oil would go in here there is nothing else you see all computerized all hoses and pipes and electronics the oil when you receive the oil everything goes in here till you get to that line that's it and then you now right now on this machine you have a bobbin winder out right here to the right. When you try it, you see, whenever you want. Sorry, I gotta do this. I'm sure you did this. This is the, um, watch your part. This is the bobbin winder, all right? And you have the two thread stand and the two thread stand and I forgot my glasses, hopefully I won't need them. You see, you just, whenever you wanna start, you just put this in here, push this back, start sewing and this will turn. Okay, I don't wanna start, I don't wanna do nothing. On this one, Built-in bobbin winder. Everything goes in here. Do I have a bobbin? I can get a bobbin. Now let's see if I have a bobbin in here. I'm gonna use the same bobbin. By the way, both machines use the same bobbin. Exact same bobbin, okay? Um, let's do this, okay? Close this one, and when you close, when we do, this one would tear. You see that one? That one tear. I just don't want to. And then whenever full, done. Okay. Both of them have auto. Both of them have reverse capability. Reverse. You could do manually from here, as you could see. Going back, release to go forward, and also from here. Okay, this one obviously has the light here. Okay, that one has both also. You have, from here you could do, I'm gonna sew, reverse, from here, also from here. Okay, on this one, you have an adjustable tension. Whenever you don't like, like the tension or the stitching, you could just do it from here. When, number one. Number two, the foot bar adjustment. The pressure for the foot. If you feel it's too much pressure, or you have something very light, lingerie material, jersey, soft material, you could always adjust this. Lefty, tidy. Lefty, lefty, right? Righty, tidy, lefty. Righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. Right, righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. With this one. So manual, by hand, both top and bottom, right? Now, and there is no LED lamp here. So here was an LED lamp. On this one, on this machine, both of these are automatic from here. 
can't do anything. For this one, you go to this icon and you adjust up, down, and then enter. For pressure, you go to here, up, down, enter. Okay? So both foot pressure and the tension is from here. On this one, I might doing very a lot back and forth, and I but they think this is good because people they don't have to rewind all the time, you know. And this one, a stitch length is right here. Four from zero to four. Zero being zero, four being four millimeter, right? That's how it's done from here. That's the stitch length. On that one. A stitch length is right here. You see that one? I'm gonna go back. This one, a stitch length. Up, down, enter. That's that. Good. This one, what am I going with this? Uh, okay, with this one, um, you could, like right now if I'm sewing, cut. See, cut needle up, cut needle up. You could also adjust with this one that from here, don't cut. You see that one? You say no, don't cut. Yes cut, no cut, enter. Okay, uh, this is the tension. From here you could say no. I want to do my own, which I don't recommend. You always want it on, that one. These two are back tagging. See when you start, you see the stitches? When you start, you want to make sure that you're stitching good. You could shut them down. When you shut them down, you see? The difference is, you see this one? You only have the tail and you have the tail here, you have finished. Don't have the finish back stitching. That's how you do, right? But I want it on. Now, if you want more back stitching, you just press here, you see that? Instead of two, you could do three. Four, I did, four, all right? Close, you see? Now, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start. Start, I have four. One, two, three, four. Finish, I have two. I could change that one too. You see, you see the icon, they see the numbers here because my eyes can't see. You see set four, and you see set two here. Press this one. I'm sorry. I wanna get in there. How do I get in there? I was getting in there. Okay, I'm sorry, you have to press your hand and keep it there. Four, four, close. Now you have both of them four, meaning that I'm gonna do one right next to this one. We did four. One, two, three, four, back stitch, back stitching done. This is the length, all right? Beautiful, so now you know everything here. I'm not gonna get to the information and the memories and all that stuff. I'm gonna, not gonna do These are not for me. The book, huge book, read it, done. So this is right here. Now, we're gonna go back in here. And this one, everything again, done from here and here. And right here, the back stitching, I have the same thing with four, 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 four. You could turn it off, you see, I turned it off. Wee. These machines are so fast, it's not even funny. See, this is the start, this is the finish. This is the one with the back, okay? So if you put it on, bam, you get it. Now, you want less, you see, 
nothing done. I'm gonna go back. This one, you could do up, up, down, whatever you need, you could turn on, on and off. Whatever you need to do, you do it from here to control. Plus or minus would do the stitching. Uh, what else do you need to know? Um, um, I really don't know what else you want to know about this machine. Uh, the oil are the same, the needles are the same, bobbin is the same, bobbin case is the same. Um, even the cutting knives are the same inside the machine. The knife, the trimming knife, the moving knife, stationary knives, they're all the same. The foot, the plate, the feed dog, everything is the same. On both machines, you could do use regular plate, medium, heavy, regular, heavy, super heavy plate and feed dog. Um, the type of thread used on these machines are T27, T40, 50, 60, 80, T105 on this machine. Great, great, great sewing machine, those. I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison. The bed is the same size, the neck is the same size from here. The oil goes in here for the, I mean, the oil goes inside in here for the machine. But for here goes into the right-hand side. You see there is a small, this one has a smaller thread stand. And to be honest with you, I like it better, just the thread stand. You don't need it to be that tall, doesn't matter. So the thread stand is the difference a little bit. Um, both are not switches on the right hand side, turn on and off. This one, we're gonna look at the back. Had a bigger control or computer box. You see that? This is a control box. Can you see that on that one? That's pretty much a, yes, that's it. That's the small control box, that's the motor, that's the switch, uh, that's the control panel. Both are our beauty, beauty. Both are nice to have Here is the foot lifter here. That maybe after 15, 20 years, you could just change this one. I'm just saying, if there is anything, after 20 goes wrong, 20 years goes wrong, you could change that one. That's the food lifter, right there. On this one, this is the food lifter inside. I haven't seen it, I don't know how it works. This one has more wires, less wires. Great, great sewing machine. Just wanna make sure you guys know, we're doing the full function one. These are the full function sewing machine, uh, not the regular function. Uh, great sewing machine both Juki DDL 8700-7 and DDL-9000, both products, great products from Juki. Juki should really hire me, not to hire me, they should start giving me some money. I'm telling you, I mean, I'm doing a great job for them. We bring it here, we put them together, we make a video, we make a sale for them, right? And. Uh, Again, this is David from Gold Star and we're from beautiful downtown Los Angeles, our headquarters, goldstartool.com. This is our showroom, it's gonna be a beautiful, I'm gonna keep bragging about this till we really do it, right? It's gonna be a beautiful sewing studio, sewing classes here downtown. You wanna pan again for these new people to see? We're gonna make this to a beautiful, beautiful sewing machine center that you could come, enjoy, sew, have fun, create, creation. And if you have any ideas for me in downtown LA, and if you live nearby, even if you're far away, and you want to help me out with ideas, hit me up. David at goldstartool.com. And thank you for watching. Please like, thumbs up, share, and let me know what type of video you want me to do for you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, night, no chest, but no chest, but no tardes. Hasta luego. Bye. Good night.